In this video I'm going to show the data volume management in Solution Manager 7.1. So we start with the DVM or the Data Volume Management Work Center. Uh, this is the overview if we have a look at the status summary. This is uh, evidence of all the extractors which are running. So essentially the DVM Work Center is, a, is an engine room for a number of uh, batch jobs, uh, also known as extractors, which run on the satellite systems and gather data. So we have three active systems that we're polling for growth in the database and we have 30, a total of 35 extractors which are running so we're pulling data um, for different analysis so some of the data is uh, aging the records uh, an another uh, analysis run is for um, analyzing the deletion potential and then archiving potential and, and the like so if we move into the analysis um, here uh, is where we analyze every single batch, every single table uh, in, uh, in, a, in an SAP instance. Uh, this is how, how often uh, these batch jobs run um, and uh, how long they take. Uh, then if we get into the statistics and trends. So here I've, uh, you, all, my, all my systems are selected, but essentially you put the filter on and you select the system that you want. So I'm selecting my ECC system uh, here. So the first, uh, the first analysis I'm going to run is to show um, the table statistics, um, which I'm going to show what tables have been accessed over the last month uh, within this system. So I want only uh, the top 10 requests. So this will take a little time, uh, and I'll show you the results as soon as they come back. So these are the results, so my top 10 tables. You can see there's a sprinkling of um, standard tables. So the, the extended general ledger uh, features here, some user master features here, uh, some workflow features here, but you'll also notice that I've got um, at least one Z table inside. So we can have a look at uh, Z tables, that is custom tables and standard tables. So of course I can show you the summary of all uh, all the access to the table, the histories, um, and then tables which have not been accessed during that period. Okay, so the the time frame we can we can drop down all the way to a custom selection. So once we we select uh, you know a, a time frame, we can apply the filter and, and off we go. So the other the other thing I want to show you is the data allocation. So to show you the sizes of uh, some of the some of the tables. So I'm going to show um, tables which are bigger than 50 gigs, so it's no, it's no use showing me, uh, no use showing you small fried tables. So we'll show you the history uh, of all the tables which are in my ECC system which are bigger than 50 gig. So this will take a little while. So after some time, this is the resulting graph. So just to explain this, um, my top uh, five uh, tables here from a his historical perspective uh, is EDI40 and EDIDS. Uh, no surprise, they're the, uh, the evidence of IDOCs coming through my system. SoftCont1, which is a SAP Office Attachments, and we got a WBBP. So you can see, you can see the growth here. So you can tell the steady growth that I've got uh, month on month uh, is, this, is uh, on the size of the EDI40. All right, so this is, uh, this is evidence of one of the tables that we can go after with rubbish removal. So in, instead of looking at archiving, maybe we should look at uh, removing processed IDOCs uh, and then gaining the benefit of uh, uh, reducing the size of these tables. So of course, you can have a look at the top growing tables. Uh, and then as you reduce them, you can have a look at the top reduction. Uh, and then uh, you, can track, uh, you can track your performance um, against some, uh, some KPIs. Right then, Lastly, we can have a look at some time-based distribution. So th this is um, for data which has hit the system over a, a specific period. So if we have a look in the year 2012, and I have a look at all the records coming through. So these, this is uh, the, the the main the main list of uh, of hits uh, within within my table from a growth perspective. So the the big one, obviously, you know, if you've got an ECC system which is you know any any number of years old, you will have several BKPF records. There's there's no, no doubt about that if you use financials. 
so they're they're the um the age of the records or, or how many records we we hit in the one year all right so from from there we can have a look at the potentials and savings um, navigation uh, panel selection so here I'm going to have a look at um, what type of savings that I can I could potentially go for so if I have a look uh, over the year 2012 uh, to see what's uh, what's hit so they're all the records which I could possibly go after so there's uh, 13 uh, well 13,000 records that I, that I can go after uh, and then from so there, that's from a time based and then from the potential savings uh, we could have a look here and if we take it over a year we could have a look at and the biggest amount of saving that we're going to get so the, the other ones are just uh, small fry they're just peanuts the biggest one we're going to get is this uh, EDI 40 right, so if we if we sort this up you know the the biggest uh, the biggest bank for buck is this uh, 93 uh, not 93 uh, 98 percent which is going to be the the EDI 40 and EDI DC right so they're the, they're the two big ones so in here obviously you can have a look at the archiving objects if you want to if you want to be archiving it you can have a look at document types and what application area they're part of all right so that's uh, an overview and then the last thing you can have a look at is the the DVM planning dashboard okay. so this one when we fire it up um, this is what if analysis so this is the number of records which um, have hit my system so in my ECC system uh, I first started posting records in 1996-97 and these are the number of records that I've posted uh, most recently so most most of the records is in obviously 2011-2012 and we're just starting at a few a few in 2013 so this is a pie graph based on the, the, the yearly and a pie graph based on the, the last couple of months. Uh, in here you can set some configurations where you can set some, some KPIs uh, for, some, for some growth uh, and then track how you're uh, managing the growth of your systems. And of course, as, as with all of the um, navigation within uh, um, the work centers and the dashboards, you, you click uh, to maximize the, the screen so now if we finish off with how to set your KPIs so back into the work center if we have a look at statistics and trends and have a look at the data statistics if I minimize the top panel here you can set up um, your KPIs and then you can track how you're going month by month against the KPIs so obviously if you're going down uh, you're not hitting the KPI if you're going up you are hitting the KPIs so this is um, for your uh, indexes you can also have a look at the business growth and then you can track your achievements uh, ag against uh, es estimated uh, KPIs so if I click on the business growth uh, it will take a minute or so all right so now you can see it uh, uh, building from a you know a, a business uh, perspective uh, month on month and then lastly, uh, obviously you can have a look at the, you know, the, the number of records or by a percentage. You can have a look at um, SAP tables or SAP and custom tables, so your Z tables. And then lastly, you can track and celebrate your achievements. All right, so here's, here's your, the size of your, your database, which is in the blue. Obviously, this, the blue is underneath the purple here. So the size without archiving is uh, the purple. So we started tracking our system from June 2012. We weren't tracking before then. So you can see the steady, the steady growth, um, and then you'd have also a green and a and an orange line, which I don't have because I haven't started my archiving or my deletion process. But as I start deleting, you'll be able to track um, how you're going, and you'll be able to use this uh, as a management KPI dashboard uh, to track your good work in the uh, archiving or your DVM space. So that's a, a quick fly through with the DVM. Um, thanks for listening.